Look at my case. Look at my case. Strawberry shortcake. It is, in fact, the, like, what is it, 1997 version, um, which I don't acknowledge, but actually I do. She's, like, cute in a vintage-y ragamuffin cabbage patch kind of way but the the one that truly lies near and dear to my heart is a two, is a 2003 version it is it is i've talked about it enough but it is hello hello how are you doing um i hope you're doing good i was gonna give you a fist bump i suppose i still am uh, 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 uh. as like a little good morning because it's eight in the morning and i have to leave for work in an hour you know, you know, you know, you know me. me. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my winter reading list. Now, did I do a TBR? This is basically a TBR, but did I do a TBR a few months back um, with a very big, long, extended list of books? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I sure did. But you want to know something? No one monopolized. No one makes a bunch of rules on TBR, on TBRs. I can have a TBR that is full of 250 books. And what are you going to do about it? That's what I want to... What are you going to do about it? Oh, yeah. All right. It is winter time. I'm transforming into my, like, super smart and introspective mode that will very much dissipate when it hits, like, um, April. But for now, winter just is, in fact, activated. And this winter, I want to read... I just want to read books that... Mm, that make me tr want to jump off of the Golden Gate Bridge. But in, like, the best non-suicidal non-alarming way i only have about six or seven books on this list so it's not a lot let's get started shall we <laughs> the first book is all about love by bell hooks now i first heard about bell hooks uh through when i was in college through my philosophy professor who i kid you not did not tell us his real name um but he i think legally went by the falcon he went by the falcon and he wanted you to call him falcon so we would literally call him like falcon the falcon P professor falcon and he only wore black very baller very baller and i didn't read any of her that is in fact my parents room one of my pa my parent someone is taking a shower um i am so sorry even though i have a mic this is why i have a mic my parents do shower quick though so it should it should be over over soon you know what just consider it like a like a smooth hum like a white noise machine it should it should set you to sleep are you watching this at night probably not but you should anyway i didn't read any of bell hooks in college but uh her work has now been resurged through tiktok and let me just read you the blurb okay all about love offers radical new ways to think about love by showing its interconnectedness in our private and public lives in 11 concise chapters hooks explains how our everyday notions of what it means to give and receive love often fails us and how these ideas are established in early childhood she offers a rethinking of self-love without narcissism that will bring peace and compassion to our personal and professional lives and asserts the place of love to end struggles between individuals in communities and among societies visionary and original hooks shows how love heals the wounds we bear as individuals and as a nation for it is the cornerstone of compassion and forgiveness and holds the power to overcome shame like are you like, joking, are you joking? Me? Yes. 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 yes 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 please i've read excerpts of this book and i can definitely tell that it is going to change me in ways that i i, I am yet to even understand yet and i'm excited for that i'm that's all I can give it. A, a big old thumbs up. Yeah. I feel like bell hooks should be mandatory readings for students. At least high school students. Like World War I, the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand, which resulted in the invasion of Poland, which resulted in the war beginning. Now, now, bell hooks. Put bell hooks in the curriculums now. <laughs> the next book is Open Water by Caleb Azuma Nelson. This book was actually recommended to me by a viewer. They DM'd me and they, I think they said something along the lines of like that they love yearning as much as I do and that this is a very good book for yearning. It's just like a tender love story. Both of the characters in the book are black. We love, we love to see that. We love to see that. For me, yearning and like maladaptive daydreaming go hand in hand. Um, yeah, I think it is the copious amounts of fan fiction that I um, consumed in my formative years that did that to me. So the writing just seems amazing. My mutuals on Goodreads are eating it up. They're loving it. 
so i can't i can't wait to read it next book is the trial by frank kafka this is like philosophical fiction absurdist fiction normally i'd rather swim to the bottom of the ocean no the bottom of a boat excuse me and scrape off the barnacles off the boat one by one than to read any kind of like philosophical absurdist fi like I one of my friends is dating a philosophy major <laughs> shout out to her prayers to her but this book just seems interesting it's about a man who um gets arrested by like a nameless like figure like he doesn't know who's arresting him he doesn't know what for it kind of gives me i know these aren't the same thing so please don't come for me like i'm just making a very 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 loose comparison but it is a short read it reminds me kind of like uh, the stranger by albert camus which i didn't hate reading so next oh the next book on my list i think the top three books that i want to read um are bell hooks open water and this book it is the happy couple by nisha dolan i read nisha dolan's i think most popular piece of work uh which is exciting times i read it earlier this year for a hot girl summer book video and i really really enjoyed it i gave it too low a rating on goodreads i gave it as like a 3.75 I gave it as 3.75, um, but on the app, it translated to like barely even three stars. It's, it's like a 4.25 to me. I really, really enjoyed that book. The girls are calling it dull. Why? This book is about Luke and Celine. They are both mutually in unrequited like love for each other. They don't like each other. Oh, no, they're not in love with each other. But for some reason, for some godly uh, unknown reason, they are set to marry each other in a year. Luke's best man, Archie, is in love with him. And Celine's sister, Phoebe, is trying to figure out where... Well, first of all, she's too busy to smoke cigarettes, so... <laughs> but she's also trying to figure out where in the hell Luke goes off to and, like, disappears to in, like, super late hours of the night. You know what? I think he's either gay or a serial killer. So, I think you can now see why I want to read this book. This is drama it just seems like good old-fashioned drama my hands are really dry i really really like and i really really like kind of connect with nisha dolan's writing so i'm very excited to read this i don't know if i can get my hands on it but i i will try i will buy the book the next book is they both die at the end lovely title i actually really love that title it's by adam silvera this book is about this thing called death cast i don't know what that is is that like a human a spirit and it contacts two strangers, Mateo and Rufus, to tell them that they're both gonna die today. They're gonna die. Can you imagine that? I, through the use of an app, Deathcast contacts them separately, but they meet each other through the use of the app and they decide to live out their, both of their last days as meaningfully as they can. This book is gonna make me like probably sob. Um, probably because they, they're both gonna die at the end, like the book says. Um, anyone dies in like a book or novel, it is over for me like it's waterworks so this is gonna be a fun read the next book is homesick for another world by none other than miss otessa oh nope i said that wrong otessa otessa moshfeg yeah a lot of the books i've been seeing lately the ones that come out like they use otessa's work and sometimes my year of rest and relaxation like as the caliber for comparison like can you imagine that like what an accomplishment like the girls use your work like 21st century sad girl 20s girl but that is that is baller that's pretty crazy anyway this book is a collection of 14 short stories it's all about people who are longing for something in their lives it could be a new job it could be love longing to fit in in this world that is a bit of me babe that is a bit of me it's a bit of me the last book on my winter reading list is a man asleep by george perec perec is that french i don't know this is about a french dude he's 25 he's a student and he is just jaded like he's just written written with malaise for the world and i think he either what does he do he decides to sleep i think or i think he just adopts like a very severe indifference for the world and everything around him a man did in fact recommend this to me so i'm, I'm kind of scared no but on a real note i feel like a lot of the books that men like are just like variations of catcher in the rye like it's a very like deeply just torn and misunderstood man um or it's like a collection like a memoir of um like some guy taking psychedelics and i'm like oh that seems like a riveting piece of literature thank you for recommending it to me 
Um, but you want to know what I equate this book to and why I want to read it? Because to me, in my silly little head, yeah, it is the female version of my year of rest and relaxation. That's it. That is that is literally quite it. I'm a simple gal. What can I say? Um, that is it. That is everything that's on my winter reading list. I try not to pile it on too much, but these are books that I am genuinely very excited to read. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what is on your reading list for this winter. I have to go to work now. Bye. Peace and blessings. <laughs> Toodaloo. <laughs> All right, get out now, please. Get out.